Oh, Tim, it's yeah. Cam Nichols. How are you? Good, mate. Yourself? Too bad. You, you know um, how you said I could call you if I had any queries? Yep, yep. I, I, just, set, I just set up the um, enema and I was lying down ready for uh, insertion. And to be honest, I'm, I'm just a little bit, little bit nervous. Any, any words of wisdom? Any, any advice? Quick little note before we get into this video, I wanna share with you my goal of this piece. Now, I know there'll be some people out there, maybe some of my friends, maybe some of my subscribers that are like, dude, why are you putting that online? That is absolutely gross. And I remember when my wife came home a couple of years ago, she did a detox and part of her process was doing the enema and I was like, there is no way in the world I would ever do that. My paradigm has completely shifted and really the goal of this piece is just to open up the discussion. It's actually okay for us to talk about the enema. The enema has become a very powerful tool for general health and wellbeing, particularly the detoxification process, in addition to assisting and supporting people with debilitating illnesses, including cancer. This is a good thing. It's a good thing to be educated on. It's a good thing to be able to talk about, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, it's nine o'clock in the evening. It's the day before I start my five day fast. Now, originally I was thinking of doing a water fast, but I went and spoke with an expert, and I'll link to that video below this one, earlier this week, and he suggested based off my goals and ambitions, and as my subscribers will know, my goals and ambitions are to basically improve or create an optimal platform within myself before I start a big block of training because later this year I have a goal to win a bike race, which is really hard to win. So I wanna improve my immune system, I wanna get fitter, I wanna be stronger, and this five day fasting process is gonna help me do that. And Tim has recommended, based off my goals and my body type, that I do a juice fast, two small juices a day, but as part of the process, I also need to do enemas, which is basically shoving this thing here, it's a chew, filled with liquid directly into your ass. Now, I didn't realize until this morning, I was sitting there enjoying my post-ride coffee and I looked at the program in detail and I thought everything was starting tomorrow, but actually, I've got to do an enema tonight. And the reason why I'm doing an enema tonight and the reason why you do enemas as part of the process, according to Tim, is apparently, um, when you go on a fasting state, your body can look for other bits and pieces internally to utilize to, for, con, for energy consumption. And it can scrape debris that can have toxicity in it and that can make you feel really crook. So if you're cleaning both ends, you're sort of gonna mitigate that from happening. So I've got this thing here. I'm brewing a pot of tea. So normally I would brew a pot of tea for um, oral consumption, but this, I guess, uh, it's sage. This is some anal tea right here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, these are kind of scaring me at the moment, looking at them, knowing what I'm about to do to my anus, but these are actually for tomorrow. These are for the juice, part, or part of the juice. The juices are actually mainly vegetable juice, and they're just gonna be small. So, I basically have to use the tea, more water, and I'm gonna put it in another teapot here. So my wife usually uses these teapots for drinking. Hopefully doesn't, she doesn't watch this video because she's probably gonna be put off using these teapots in the future. And I've got a thermometer, I'm not putting that in my ass. I'm using this to measure the temperature. So we want it around 42 degrees before I go in and then insert. I'm gonna insert with a little bit of moisturizer at the tip. So, stay tuned. All right, so the tea is now at a perfect temperature and we're ready to go. So, let's, let's do this. So, just taking the bathroom here. Now, I've, I've just been, that's a very bright light. I just wanna have to turn that one off. That's a bit better. So, I've been testing this on the wall over here. So, there it is up there. Um, that's where the liquid goes, and it comes out of this 
little thing here. This is um, a way to uh, tighten it, as you can see there. Now if I undo that, you see it comes out, the, it's coming out there. That's how, it, that's how it works. Two little holes there. There's a little tap there as well, see if you turn, but apparently that tap there, when you've got this shoved up your ear, it's hard to get there and control it, so this thing here just gives you a bit more agility, this thing here. All right, so now it's on this wall here, and this is my position, it's gonna be, it's my moisturizer, and there's a glass here, because you just gotta let a little bit out first, apparently, so it doesn't bubble up the top here. Let's fill this thing up, just make sure this is, yeah, it's not gonna come out there. That's a lot of liquid, isn't it? Man, that's all going into my ass. It's quite incredible. I'm a little bit nervous. I might give Tim a call, he said to give him a call if I had sort of any sort of questions or queries. I'm a little bit nervous. I'll just stand up for a sec. Hello. Oh, Tim, Cam. it's Cam Nichols, how are you? Good mate, yourself? Too bad. You, you know um, how you said I could call you if I had any queries? I, I, just set, I just set up the um, enema and I was lying down ready for uh, insertion and to be honest, I'm Trembling. a little bit, little bit nervous. Any, any words of wisdom, any, any advice? Uh, look, I think the, the biggest thing about that is a, it's the fear. I mean, particularly, it's, I reckon it's more a bloke thing than a, than a, than a woman thing, but I think it's just the fear of it. Um, you know, it's, it's different. Just stick it in and get on with it, basically. Basically, that's pretty small. Tough it out. Think of, think of England or whatever they used to say. <laughs> think of another country. <laughs> All right, mate. You, you got me fired up. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, it's Well, it's, I can feel it going inside my lower body. My gosh, it feels like I'm getting a full stomach. It's very unusual. There's a lot of liquid going in there. Just turned it down a bit on the tap part. It's my tummy like rumble a little bit. Tim said to move, so I'm just doing my little bit of exercises here. It's 10 to 15 minutes of this. Whoa, it's a lot of liquid. Damn. Oh, feels like a little bit like tummy cramps. And I'm getting, oh. It's almost all in now. All the liquid's almost all in. There it goes. Oh man, it's like bad tummy cramps down the bottom, although it's going now, it's just momentarily. I'm just moving here a little bit. Uh, oh, just taking that out of my ass then was probably the worst part. Putting it in wasn't too bad, but putting it in out, I mean, taking it out. So, I'm pulling my pants up now. 
So it feels fine now. That initial period of all that liquid going inside, like your lower abdomen or just, yeah, it kind of felt like tummy cramps. I can feel it there, but it feels fine now. About 10 minutes of this. The thing that I was actually worried about was like, once it goes in there, doesn't it just want to come directly out? Like, isn't it just going to come pouring out? But certainly not the case. Like, I can definitely got control of whatever's in there. And right now, I don't, almost think moving helps. I almost don't feel like, oh no, wait a sec. It's almost like lower abdominal pains or something like that, just a little bit. Not, not strong pains, but you can just, you can, you can feel like, obviously there's a lot of liquid in there. I think it's um, 1,200 mils all up. All right, I think that's over 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom and release. We're done. That was a very interesting experience. That, um, there's a lot of liquid in that and you definitely, I definitely felt it sort of around here, just like mini cramps or a little bit like that. Getting that thing in was okay, taking it out was a bit weird. What just came out then, I'm not gonna even tell you what that looked like because that's for, that's for a different blog or a, or a different YouTube channel but I can tell that that is incredibly cleansing. And that was probably the best smelling shit I've ever done because it smelled like tea and all those bits and pieces I put in it. But at the end of the day, enema, not as bad as it sounds.